Hey everyone, David here. We wanted to do a quick video tour of the House of the Dragon show guide that we've put together using the tool called Notion. Uh, Michael S., thank you so much for writing an email to us to say, hey, I'd love to get a view of what that's like. And, you know, I, I'm curious about the season pass. Uh, what do I get for it? And so uh, really great suggestion. So quick video tour of what you get for the show guide. This is, a, again, available to people who are season pass subscribers as well as our regular subscribers, either on Supercast or Patreon. So quick tour. This is the page that you land on. This is a publicly available website. You can go with any browser. You can also do it with mobile. The cool thing about Notion is it scales the page for your mobile. So I'm using it all the time as a second screen when I'm watching the episode. Wait, who is that character or what dragon is that? I can quickly look at my phone and scroll through and, and uh, get the basic information I want. So real high utility value there. Otherwise, let's take a quick walk through. The most, uh, there's two main areas, the character guide and the episode guide. So let's look at the character guide really quick. There are different views for all the different characters. We're, right now we're looking at the faction view. We also have a gallery view, which is just sort of everybody in gallery. So you can kind of scroll through randomly. And you can also look at by house and you can actually collapse these. If you don't want to look at a particular house, you could uh, open and close these as well as there's just a giant table. If you want to scroll through and just uh, find anybody in particular, they're all there in a table view. So let's go back to the faction view really quick. Let's take a quick look at Rhaenyra. If we click on Rhaenyra, we get a, a nice headshot here. We have a sigil. Uh, thank you, Aaron K, for making the sigils. He did a lot of work on that. Brian8063 has also helped with a lot of uh, content. So if we scroll down here, we can see who the actor was, who the young actor was. These are linked to their IMDb pages. We've got the main header photo that we have there. The photos come either from a capture card or from online publicly available stuff, you know, like from the HBO website, you know, from the publicity photos. Faction, house, title, sobriquets, uh, what dragon they're writing, bio, and then a whole bunch of other information. Again, all of this is linked. So if we said, okay, well, who's the uh, spouse? Well, Damon Targaryen, okay, or Leonor. Let's take a look at Leonor. Leonor, uh, we click on that. Uh, we get uh, the same sort of information here. If we want to go back, we want to go over to Corlys Valerion. There's Corlys. Uh, you know, we've got um, um, a little bio. This is just recopied so it shows up in, in different places. And we can close this view and we can go and scroll. Uh, new characters, we're always adding new information as they show up. So Gunther Darklin uh, was uh, significant in episode four. So there's the information on Gunther. We add as we can. Or Alyssa Targaryen. There's uh, Damon's mom from episode five. So uh, we have now, let's see, let's, let's jump around a little bit. Let's go over to, let's go back using the breadcrumbs up here. We've got a Westeros family tree. This is kind of a static picture of stuff, just for a quick reference. Then we have the dragon bestiary. So much like the character guide, we can look at a dragon who is the, the writer. So this one doesn't have the former writer was um, Leonor. Uh, the, the dragon is alive. We could take a look at, let's see, where's Melis? There's Melis. Melis is deceased, a former writer, a former and current writer information there. And then what else do we have here? Location guide. So we could just quick break down a different sort of key locations if you want to have some more information about that. And then the real meat of it is the episode guide. And we've got some season one information there. We've got a great timeline. So if you want to uh, understand what happened in season one, we've got that. John did an amazing recap of season one, went through and uh, got all these images. So if there's anything particular that you want to remember from that, and it's all got a nice header here, so you can click on these headers and, and jump down. And if we go, say, let's take a look at episode four. And you get a nice header image here. And then you've got these table of contents. And if you click on one of these, you can scroll down to the page and you can see John is even able to capture some GIFs. Some people call them GIFs. And they are great little key scenes here to remind you of what's going on in the episode. 
we use these care, our episode guides as our breakdown for the episode when we're recording the podcast. So if you want to follow along, this is live now to subscribers. So if there's a particular point that you want to um, uh, email us about, you know, or send in your feedback, you can use these uh, these different headers to say, oh, you know, when Aegon returns home, then, you know, we can refer, we can, you know, use that feedback to key into that location. But we've got these uh, short little descriptions so that as we go through the episode, we can we can talk about the, the episode in, in different ways. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Always happy to uh, take requests. If there, if you think of things that you know could be useful or something that we missed, if there's a little mistake, again, Aaron K and Brian eighty sixty three. Thank you uh, so much for your help. Thank you to Nancy M, our hand of the pod, for coordinating feedback. Thank you to all of our subscribers and to our, our listeners. We have a great community. If you're interested in supporting the community over the long term. You still get the show guide. The next show guide we're going to do is Rings of Power. That should be great. And for any of the big shows that we're covering, we're going to do some variation. House of the Dragon, Rings of Power, those lend themselves to having a lot of lore. For True Detective, I did one. It was more of a detective's notebook, you know, sort of clues and fun stuff. So to, to help us remember what was going on in the episode. To our season pass subscribers, again, if you want to subscribe for the season pass, 10 bucks flat. You get all of the podcasts from season one and season two ad free. You get early release access. You also get our hot takes, which we record right after the episode and the season pass. And it's a great product for people who come around just for a particular show. You know, they're not into podcasts, maybe in general. And hey, I just want to throw some support to the community. You know, great people doing great work. Get some uh, cool, cool extras for it. 10 bucks, you're done. You don't have to any like annoying ongoing subscriptions uh, and uh, you get access to all this stuff. And we're going to leave all of this stuff up uh, available uh, in the future so you can continue to have access to it. Let us know if you have any questions. Hot D at thelorehounds.com. Go to our website, thelorehounds.com. Leave us a voicemail or use the contact form and send us uh, a message on the Discord. Go to the link tree, which is available on all of our show notes for all of our podcasts and on this post. Check out our affiliates. We've got a lot of great stuff coming. We're, there's just tons of content right now. It's hot lore summer. So thanks very much. And I hope this has been helpful. Talk to you soon.